All right, lads, you already know what time it is. It's freaking depression time, all right? So today we're gonna go 10 into Graham and 10 into Revy. Me personally, I'm just not a massive fan of either. If anything, I want Revy more only because I'm lacking in Thunder units. And so with that being said, let's stop stalling. Let's see how we go. For Graham's banner, I'm just gonna do the one by one just to get the guaranteed five star. And so here we go. All right, number one. Ah, here we go again, guys. Here we go again. Solid blue, we got Unimet. Welcome, welcome again for like the 60th time. Number two, we are going to get uh, purple. All right, and we got Kafka. Welcome, welcome again for the hundredth time. Number three, we are going to get uh, da 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 da. Bam. Okay, it's a blue. It's a blue. All right, Leah. We're still at two plus zero percent. This is number four. Number four. Come on, come on. Give me the good stuff. Eh. All right, all right. <laughs> Zoya, welcome again. Number five, 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 five. Let's get lucky. Ah. <laughs> okay. Alfina, welcome. Welcome. How do you do? Number six, I believe. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's go. Uh, purple again. Cool. Michani. Number seven. We are still on 0% pity. I think we're actually quite a fair bit off pity, so it's okay. Oh, oh, we hit the five early. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I wasn't overly keen on Graham anyway, so yeah. Uh, oh, is this a... Could it be? Why? Why? What? Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Where's this text? Wait, <laughs> wait a second. I feel like there are a lot of things missing on this screen, but I am sure Tour Dog is on it. But all right, welcome to the fam, Faust. Uh, I, I will take you graciously. And so with that being said, let's switch over to the Revy banner. And so I'm feeling a little bit lucky, you know, I'm going to throw in a tenner and see how we go. If we get nothing, so be it. I'm not overly mad. So let's go 3k Lumamba. Confirm. Let's, uh, come on. Just let's have some good luck. All right, let's go. Uh, it's a fiver. All right, it's a fiver. Let's see what we get. And so, okay, who do we get? Is that Umbratron? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, Dana. A Dana dupe. That's not something I thought I'd be getting. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, all right, let's skip that rest. And that's it. That's Dana. All right, you know what? Let's go another 10, okay? Let's go another 10. I'm feeling a little bit itchy. Just one more tenner and I'll be good. All right, Revy Banner, give me something good. Give me the fat juice. Give me... Oh, spend 100k Loom Ambers. Jeez, I have spent a lot of Loom Ambers. All right, this one is the last one for real and we got nothing. And at least we got some five stars, which is good. Let's have a quick look and we got nothing new. Ah... <sighs> All right, such is life. I, I don't know what else to say. What I really mean by that is that we are doing another temple. So let's freaking go. One more. Just one more for the ride. Come on, boys. Let's go. One more. One more. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? Okay. We got to stop. We need to stop like right here. We need to stop right here. That was so bad. Uh, oh my God. 40 rolls and a whole bunch of nothing. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even mad, you know? You know what? I am mad. You know, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I am so mad. I'm pretty mad. I'm pretty upset. I, uh, Oh God, why do I do this to myself, man? Oh my God. All right, you know what? Let's let's just get on with the video. There is absolutely no way I'm stopping there. One last one, just for the boys. We are using all of it. Let's freaking go. All right, come on. Jesus. Holy crap, my luck is so insanely bad. Okay, look. Oh, someone new? Beverly? <gasps> Beverly! Yes, yes! Beverly, that's what I'm talking about. All right, you know what? That was kind of worth it. That was kind of, kind of worth it, guys. I, I've wanted Beverly for a very long time. All right, let's hop out of there. I think our pity is actually about to trigger. You know what? Maybe let's, oh. All right, screw it. Let me go grab a couple of jemmies. And so if you guys didn't know, we do have a whole bunch of stuff in our mail, which is jemmies. Like, I think this one over here is 1K jemmies. And there you have it. Let's use all that. Okay, <laughs> I got to hit the pity now. Holy crap, I really need to hit the pity. Okay, lads, so it looks like we have five pulls uh let's hope we hit something uh i think i think we're at about like 47 pulls all right there's a blue <laughs> oh god uh sork and beck there we're still at zero percent pity okay we got a purple okay micheni welcome okay here we go here's the pity two plus 2.5 percent this is 4.5 percent give me some luck guys give me some luck come on guys all right this is it this is i can feel it this is 
That's not it. That ain't it. That ain't it, guys. That absolutely ain't it. All right, Pasolo, skip. How many do we have left? We have like two left, I think. Yeah, we've got about two left. So I think this is going to be like 8%-ish. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's going to be a blue anyway. All right, Unimet. And I think this is our last one. So this is going to be at 9.5%. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 feel, I feel very... A five? Yeah, five star. All right. That's uh, that's another pact. All right, well, I am out of pools now, guys, and I don't think I can get any more from anywhere. Wow, guys, magically, I have another six pools. Guys, you already know exactly what happened here. Let's just keep going. All right, let's go. One, come on, let's hit that pity. Let's hit that pity. Ugh, what the frick, man? <laughs> what is going on? Why is my luck so crap? All right, we go again. Come on, give it to me. Just give it to me. Give it to me, daddy. All right. I guess calling for daddy doesn't work in cases like this, huh? Come on, 17%, 17%. Surely this is gonna be, oh! Okay, all right, guys, pray. We pray. Big pray, my boys, big pray. Come on, come on, please be good. Illuminia, Illumina? <gasps> woo, woo, let's go, 50-50, baby. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Okay, I admit it, it did take a lot of pulls, but we got there in the end, right? We won the 50-50, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's, it's better than losing the 50-50. All right, and so we got Revy, and honestly, I am not really into her, actually. I was just feeling a little itchy. I just wanted a little bit of fun, you know? And so I hope you guys did enjoy that as well. And finally, finally, with that being said, we can finally move on with the video. And so to everybody tuning in, Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Junefire Strike, the event itself, having a look at the event structure, having a look at the bosses because I actually played through a lot of the final Vanguard. I actually made it to the end boss. But to be honest, I got screwed. So as you can see, 2160 and the total merit that you can get is 2340. I wanna talk about this. I wanna talk about a few other things like the new rewards as well as the PC client. Yes, you heard it here first, PC client. And so with that being said, let's jump right into the video and so what we have here guys is the event and so let me give you like a brief overview this is very much like Arknight's daily contingency contract and so as you can see we have 18 days and so what that means is that we're going to have 18 stages and this is really important because it's going to help you with your planning for the dune fire ranking and this is where the rewards are going to come from so this guy over here final vanguard is like your daily rotational map and so if we have 18 days 18 of these stages and then if we get about 2k points per day i think the maximum point points equates to about like 36k maybe it goes up to like 39 40k if you're able to hit the 2.3k but for me personally getting the 2160 was pretty comfy and i want to talk about that very very soon but let's have a look again at the doomfire rankings and so let's have a look let's go all the way to the top and so as you can see the top ranking is at 32,000. and so what that means is that over 18 days we need to get 32,000 points and so if i quickly do the math it's gonna equate to about 1.777k points per day and so assuming that you don't do the hardest one every day you should be able to actually clear it out so i'm going to go into the wasteland strike hard mode and so you see 1770 and so as long as they keep the point system consistent you should be able to clear hard every day and maybe like one or two of these ones over here the purgatory and with that you should be able to get the maximum amount of rewards however if it were me i would still probably just keep attempting the purgatory because uh like this points uh this number over here the 23 40. This is such a strange number that it makes me feel like it's not always going to be 2340. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. And so as for this game mode itself, so I've played through it. So I'm just going to quickly flick through this. And the reason I want to flick through this is because A, it shows you the points over here, but also B, it shows you the bosses at 5, 10, and 15. And so as you can see, we are versing these guys over here, Shire and Shelt, I believe. And they're relatively easy. However, they have an insane amount of HP. And this pattern actually extends to all three of the bosses. So bosses at wave 5, have an insane amount of HP the bosses at 10 we've got boredom over here has an insane amount of HP and the bosses over here uh Highlinger, 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 whatever. This guy has a lot of HP. Me personally, I brought my fire team in A330 approx, and I was able to breeze through all of the stages except for the last one. And the only reason that I could not finish this stage is because it just had way too much HP. And so when bosses have a lot of HP, there are a few units that come to 
mind or a few mechanics. You've got Schwartz, you've got Michael, especially because this boss is water type. But not only that, but these units, Michael and Schwartz and other like of their archetype, they do percentage HP damage. And so if you're going to be watching this today on the first day, that is who I would bring in. Also, keep in mind that you can bring supports into the stage. So if I click into here, I click the last one over here, you can see select support. I would highly recommend that you bring a support, probably like a fat Michael like that. Oh my God. Or even this one over here or, or even this one over here. Seems like everybody's Michael's freaking juice. But anyway, you guys get the point. But yeah, guys, back to this one over here. Like they have insane amounts of HP. I think that dots also are going to work here. So damage over time. So I'm talking the poisons, the burns, the, the bleeds and all of those kind of different status effects. I'm pretty sure that these bosses just have your standard immunity. And so it's okay. And so, yeah, that's my take on the bosses. I reckon bring percentage HP damage. I haven't tried it again. Honestly, this was just me sitting on the couch just be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have fun with this. But actually playing through it and thinking about it, yeah, that's the conclusion that I came to. And so if you guys have found any other strategies to beat this, let me know down in the comments below. But otherwise, I want to talk about the second thing about all of this, and it's that it goes on for 15 waves. And so what that means is that you like, you pretty much have to have a healer. If you're going to bring your Thunder team, it's going to be Nadine for sure. Forest, it's Uriah for sure. However, for water and fire, it could be Phyllishai. And so with my fire team, and I took it into a freaking water boss, yeah, dumb dumb lace. I actually take Phyllishai every time I use my fire team. Unfortunately, with Alice's nerf, Phyllishai is now again the best fire healer. Outside of Spire, that is. Within Spire, it's uh, it's still got to be Alice. Anyway, yeah, if you guys are trying to be ballsy, trying to take like your Victorias or your Ices or like your uh, Luises, trying to get by with like the low amounts of heals, I would say that's not really ideal because you're going to spend a lot of turns dodging and then you're going to run out of turns for the very, very tanky bosses. All right, and so with that being said, I'm pretty sure that's it for this guy over over here. And so next we have the Counter-Strike Chronicle, which is pretty cool because it's essentially story quest, but without any of the uh, stamina consumption. So this is really great because it's just like free jammies and we're just getting some story out of it. I know I've only played like two chapters, but it's freaking Alchemy Stars. It's freaking Tour Dog. And if there's anything they're good at, it's at writing decent stories and creating a good atmosphere. All right, moving on. Lastly, we have the special event book, which is our battle pass. And so as you can see, it's the same, same, um, Honestly, it's it's kind of whatever to me. Last time I actually picked up the elite because I was like, man, I can't miss out on that frame, the avatar frame thing. But this time I'm like, bro, I I can't. It's it's way too expensive. And so yeah, on the free to play lane, we have the Jane outfit, which is this guy over here. Honestly, this is a freaking fantastic outfit. I I'm pretty stunned that they're giving this one out for free. And then if you do opt to get the paid battle pass, we're gonna be getting the vices one, which is this kimono one. Really nice, about like 12 or 10 USD, 15 AUD for me. I think if there's anything that's kind of worth it, it's going to be something like this. And so these battle passes are kind of okay. They're coming out like about every 44 days or so. And so yeah, I got to stop buying pulls and just like rely on these battle passes. Oh my God. As you guys can tell, I've been spending a little bit too much money on Alchemy Stars. Okay, let's get out of here and let's start talking about the DMM. So for you guys who are familiar with DMM games, it is essentially a PC client for mobile games. One of the other prominent mobile games that they do for PC is Princess connect which I am a massive fan of and so it is really freaking awesome to see DMM games actually pick up Alchemy Stars so so as you can see by this promo picture over here it's essentially just a PC native client without going through an emulator yes it does say JPN server however we already know JPN server it's kind of like the same as the C server and the global server just not the US server and so I'm speculating and this is not unfounded speculation I really really think that this is gonna work for global players as well because if not i'm gonna be really freaking sad and yeah that's that's really it i'm just gonna be really sad but yeah guys it looks like dmm games have picked up alchemy stars and so there are actually some pre-registration rewards down over here 300 lumamba we've got a star flare and a blue star flare some prism and all that so hopefully although the english staff probably will not endorse it when this comes out we're gonna give it a shot and just pray big pray that it works you know so this bad boy over here i think is the pre-registration button i haven't actually tried it out myself so yeah, guys, keep your eyes out for this one. This, uh... This is going to be big. This is going to be so big. Because I think with this, everybody that's playing on PC is going to be on 60 FPS. And that is honestly a dream come true. Although I do get 60 FPS with the blue stacks 5. So you guys can see it down here. FPS 66. Whenever I click into stuff, it does still like stutter and lag a little bit. So as you saw, 16 FPS. Especially when I go to do other things. Like if I go into the Colossus, it gets real freaking bad. So I believe it drops to like uh, maybe even lower than 16 FPS, right? All right, I'm in the Colossus. So as you can 
60 19 18 fps like this is it's okay because like the rest of the game is at 60 fps but like that Oh man, it, this would be a real dream come true if everything was 60 FPS. But yeah guys, like this is only a good thing. This could potentially attract more like PC players. Maybe the game will just get a little bit more popular and so we don't have to worry about it dying. Like, oh my god, please don't die, Alchemy Stars. And so guys, back on the pre-registration rewards, we do actually need to pre-register with a DMM account. And so what we do need to do is actually come up here and click onto this button, create a DMM account. And then with that, we can pre-register. So yeah, hopefully with a little bit of Google Translate, or if you click this English button up here, you should be able to easily make a DMM account. And then after that, you've logged in and hopefully there will just be a pre-register button. On top of that, however, I do want to show you guys like kind of the prerequisites because uh, there are prerequisites. And so as you can see, they're looking for 64-bit Windows, which everybody's PC nowadays should be. At minimum, an i3 or an AMD A8, which like I've never heard of an AMD A8 before but honestly those specs are pretty low and then we've got storage over here 8 gigabytes which isn't overly much however this one might get a couple of you guys and it's the RAM at 8 gigabytes okay and then moving down we've got this over here which is your resolution so you need at least this much 1280 by 720 so that's just your standard 720p and then this graphics card which is uh, these are these are pretty weak graphics cards. To be honest, guys, I reckon you'll be fine, especially if you're traditional PC gamers. But yeah, exciting news. Hopefully, Alchemy Stars gets a bigger crowd and uh, let's just go celebrate, you know? I personally don't have too much left to say, except I do want to ask you guys, how did you guys go on your Gram or Revy rolls? You guys already saw how I did. I got my Beverly and I got my Revy. I am super stoked. Both Beverly and Revy makes my Thunder team really, really freaking strong. And so my guys, I have finally won the 50-50 coin toss. And hopefully if you guys went in, you did too. On top of that, let me know how you guys are feeling about the event, but not only the event, but also the PC client. Do you guys think it will work for us? I think it will. Are you guys hyped or you don't really care because you're a mobile gamer anyway? Whatever they are, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a follow and if you would like to support the channel, we have some affiliate links in the description below as well as a membership thing. But otherwise, as Young Revy once said, all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.